to his Ben Wyatt. Don't you be tidbitting me, boy. some pets. Remind you who's boss. shelf for our incubator to sit on in the laundry so we can have a look at uh, what the setup at the moment and how I'm gonna try and make our space better in there so at the moment it's our very old laundry and this really needs to be renovated but anyway at the moment we've got this corner here and I'm gonna be building a shelf for the incubator here to sit above our laundry hamper at the moment the incubator sits here on this old antique wash stand opposite the toilet which is not great because there's only a narrow space in there and I've got a shelf that's going to go here for some storage. Well, I've got a new toilet and vanity that need to be installed so I need to get the wash stand out of the way before that can happen as well. It's just I don't really have anywhere to put it at the moment. Uh, so it's probably going to have to go into Scarlett's room somehow. So what we've got over here is the laundry hamper and we have our cardboard and paper recycling stuff that's like the more shiny kind of cardboard and stuff that we don't want to put in the fire. And then I've got my uh, incubator equipment down here. Um, uh, heat plates and uh, dividers for the eggs in the incubator and the container down here so they are all going to sit under the shelf except for the recycling well I need to clear everything out so I can get this shelf built and I need to move these bags out of the way and I've got way too many of those anyway so I'm going to get rid of some of those and find somewhere else to put those so these are the materials for our shelf uh, for the shelf surface, I've got this sheet of, what is it, acacia, which is 1200mm by 300mm by 18 And it was actually, it wasn't what I was originally trying to buy, I was just going to get some wide pine, but they didn't really have any, I've used laminated pine previously for other shelves, they didn't have any, there was uh, the right size or wide enough and this was actually the cheapest thing that had the right sort of width uh, so yep that's a bonus because it looks nicer it's got a plastic cover on at the moment but it has a nice slightly greyish brown sort of colour and then we are going to be doing a support underneath the shelf on two sides because it's going to be a corner shelf uh, so I'm using what I've done for the other shelves in the cupboards is this pine trim which is 30 by 30 millimetres square and that's a 1.2 metre long piece so we'll be cutting that into half and down a little bit and then we're going to be making one leg at the front on the washing machine side uh, it has to be fairly narrow just to be able to fit everything under the shelf uh, so hopefully this will be strong enough. It's only holding the incubator so it doesn't need to be super heavy duty. Uh, so this is a 40 by 18 millimeter piece of pine trim and that's 1.2 meters long so we need to cut that down to the right height. So now I need to figure out what exact height I want the shelf at. I figured out a rough um, height with a little bit of wiggle room. Uh, it's got to be tall enough to, that we can open the laundry hamper nicely but uh, short enough that we can open the incubator lid nicely so let's go figure that out so 
So the wall is out of square, which doesn't surprise me, but I wasn't expecting it to be as much out as it is. So I've got my pieces cut. Um, I had to just work quickly because Scarlett's supposed to be having her nap, but she is not sleeping. Um, doesn't didn't help when I was doing things in the laundry, but out in the garage, here's what I've done. So this, these are the shelf top pieces and these are the support pieces that are going to go underneath and screw into the wall and then I've got my leg so hopefully everything's all gonna fit nicely I cut the leg a little bit higher just uh, to make sure I can always cut it down a bit if it's too high so I got all my pieces cut and discovered the reason somebody wasn't sleeping is because they pooped. That's mum life, so I'll just have to get back to this project sometime later. We're back to the front plot, working on weeding the other two rows now. These ones over here are all not looking all nice and these ones uh, need some work. I've still got chucks of winter squash in there because the plants are still alive despite the fact that it's winter. So I do need to harvest those though. So, so far all the brassica seedlings I planted have survived except for one or two that have been scratched out by a cat which has left poop in the place of my seedling. What an offence. Otherwise everything looks okay so that's good. shelf turned into a bit of a mission. Um, uh, <laughs> things were going all right yesterday until Scarlett wasn't sleeping well and then I tried to carry on with it in the evening once reinforcements were home to help with the small child uh, when I shouldn't really have because I was too tired and apparently too tired to make logical decisions. So you know sometimes in projects uh, you need to tap into the wisdom of knowing when to stop and maybe I didn't quite do that yesterday. Anyway, Steve helped a little bit with some of the screws and um, the main problem was I realised I that my leg was too short because when I tried to get the support pieces uh, to the right height I accidentally Put them under the leg instead of level with it to get them at the right height. So we've had, I've had to um, do it a little bit differently. So here's what we've got. I mean the top of the shelf looks nice except for the fact that it's out from the wall a bit since the wall isn't square. But we're going to try not to think about that anymore. And I've got the support pieces underneath against the wall and the tricky part was figuring out what to do with this leg. So in the end, I mean if this whole shelf was one piece of wood I was going to put the leg in the corner but I didn't want to do it plywood and so we've got two pieces of wood there. So I needed to put something there to help hold them together. It's not the most stable shelf in the world but it'll be fine for just the incubator and what I had to do to increase the leg height was add the little cut off piece I had from the uh, square ended support pieces uh, that was hard to get straight but I'm gonna change this in future I know I will to make it better I need to add some sort of angle under there to make it stronger but for now 
it's there and I can put the incubator on and get it running. So that's the main thing. Am I satisfied with it? Not entirely, but is it functional? Yes. So here it is, the incubator on its shelf. Yay! It's going to be so much better here. The laundry amber fits under nicely and the recycling. I've got plenty of plenty of height clearance for the laundry hamper and put the lid right up that's not an issue that's actually better being a little bit higher than I initially intended because it'll keep it right away from the little hands which was not going to happen where it was before uh, it's sitting out from the wall just a little bit uh, the legs are back here so there's nothing that needs to touch the shelf there and the cords go nicely behind there I've got the plug board down here for the two plugs for the incubator itself and for the turning mechanism and we've got enough height clearance for lifting up I don't like to lift it too high when we've got eggs in there anyway so I think that will work out just nicely now I can deal with the stuff over there and yeah so actually quite happy about that in the end it's done hello <laughs> ninja's like nobody gets in the dirt before me <laughs> we uh oh good job we're digging some more dirt out of the chicken pen to uh, fill up the little raised bed, veggie bed where the rhubarb was uh, and getting the level down a bit which is always a bonus getting it further away from thanks Tom, the wall of the garage sorry Tom, you're missing out on all the fun chickens are circulating, hey ninja so we got enough dirt from the chicken pen to top up this raised bed the end of the veggie garden she's still got the sorrel in there and there were two little wee potato onions that must have um, survived from last season's crops I just moved those and left some space for something flowery in the corner and we're going to get some of the multiplying onions planted in here that will have to wait till later because I need to go inside and cook dinner Thanks for joining us today guys, choose to grow hope and see you next time, bye, bye, you say bye, bye.